treacherous Chaula has requested to speak before the High Council on Kronos. A little used Klingon law has restored her house temporarily. And as matriarch of her house, she has the right to speak before the Council if she wishes. Whether she leaves the Great Hall alive or in chains remains to be seen. She has much to answer for. As part of the task force assigned to deal with Ja'ula, I have requested your presence during this meeting. Should the barbarian make a nuisance of herself, I expect you to do what must be done. This will be a historic day. There will finally be a reckoning for Teula and House Mokai. While I'm surprised that the Chancellor has seen fit to allow Teula to speak, I believe it is only a formality. One way or another, she will face justice today. Ha! She is Klingon. She is coming here for a fight. Trust me, surrender is not her goal. Daula was a skilled politician well before she became the matriarch of her house. I think she hopes to sway other great houses to her cause today. Normally, I would consider this a wasted effort, but... Yes, there are many Klingons who hold Jahula's brother Takuma in high esteem. They honor his dreams and his vision, especially where the Federation is concerned. Unfortunately... Many Klingons see Ta'ula in the same light, and that concerns me greatly. In addition to the Chancellor himself, I would speak to a few house dignitaries before the event begins. Any insight we can gain on their motivations will be valuable. I would begin with House Martok. They are currently neutral, but that may not last. A word from Martok can change the course for many houses. House Duras is as always aligned with Jimpok. They may speak with you on matters the Chancellor will not, however. House Collect was once a staunch ally of House Mokai, and many believe they have renewed that alliance. I would see where they stand if you can. Finally, I would speak with the representative from House Mokai. Recall the ancient Klingon proverb, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. A car is an arrogant braggart. He might slip up and reveal valuable information to you.
of Nech! Speak quickly, or I will acquaint you with the business end of my boot. What of it? Old Jempa will buff up his chest and make a lot of loud, irritating noises before he tries to put Jaula to the blade. <laughs> Besides that foolish look on your face? Yes, something amuses me greatly. Stick around, and you will learn what it is soon enough. You, Jempak, and all the other ligament chewers that fill the hall with noise and flatulence. This is tiresome. Go bother someone else, assassin of joy. You there! Not you, you! Yes! Come over here! Warop, son of Waldon, has a warrior's thirst! Are you here to bring me more blood wine? I'll be the judge of that, Globfly! I could drink Kalos himself under the table if I wanted to! What do you want, then, if not to refill my flagon? My first thought is that it's a fine excuse to drink. <clears throat> My second thought is that I need more to drink. There they are. All my thoughts on this so-called summit. And what do you want, creature? Have you come to gloat? Or do you have enough wisdom in that ugly skull of yours to seek the favor of House Mokai? We seek what every true Klingon seeks in life. Glory for the House, and glory for the Empire. And today, we will find them. Soon, Jaula will arrive. She knows the truth of things. Soon. She will speak truth to power, to say what must be said, and her voice will be heard throughout the Empire. When she is done, all true Klingon warriors will know the truth and do what must be done. Soon there will be justice at last. <laughs> we shall find out soon enough. Now be gone. I grow weary of the sound of your voice. Gavan, I take it you're here to see where my house stands on the Jaula problem. Jaula is a product of a dead age, chasing the dreams of her martyred brother, seeking the glory of a war long ended. She is a threat to the prosperity of the Empire, and will be dealt with as such. Yes, well I do not agree with the Chancellor on all things. He has the best solution for this problem, and he will have the support of my house. If there's nothing else, there are other matters that require my attention. You picked a fine time to visit Kronos, my friend. Jaula and Chancellor Jempak have everyone on a knife's edge these days, thanks to their clash of wills. As you know, Klingon diplomacy can be quite mm, combative at times. Who knows? Perhaps we will fight at each other's side once again. I would not cling to that hope too tightly. Jempak is running out of allies. And the Mokai have more friends than he knows about. If it comes to blows, be on your guard. Someone might decide it's time to put their knife in your heart. I will do what is right for my family, for my house, and for the Empire. Always. Never doubt that, my friend. Jampak and I have unfinished business, but that will be resolved in good time. 
I will not see all I have fought for destroyed by this Mokai upstart. For now, for now, Jampak has my support. Kavan, thank you for attending this summit. If we are lucky, it will end quickly and without bloodshed. I will deal with the Mokai trader and her misbegotten how swiftly and with finality. If there is any part of them that remains Klingon, they will meet their ending with honor as warriors. If not, they will spend the rest of their days in the frozen depths of the penal colony at Rurapente. At least there they will provide some service to the Empire. We'll find out soon enough. The Barbarian is due to arrive shortly. Be wary. The woman is treacherous. She may try any number of things to avoid her unpleasant fate. The time draws near. Return to my position. We will watch the proceedings from here. The Council recognizes the leader of House Mokai. Speak! Klingons! Warriors of the Great Houses! In the name of Kalis and of Takuvma! Hear me now! You know my name. You know my house and what it has done for the Empire. And today, I come before you with the truth. The Chancellor of this Great Empire and a liar! He stole his title! He claimed it after winning a duel to the death with Martok. And yet Martok, the true Chancellor, still lives. But Jimpak's dishonor doesn't end there. When the Herc returned, he hid from our greatest enemy like a craven Fakiri. Once my brother led the Empire to glory, we had the Federation on their knees. And now... Now... Build ships with them. These stains on our honor must be cleansed. Let us bring an end to Jempak's reign. You dare to speak of honor here? You, a known traitor to the Empire? The only thing ending today is you, woman. I think not. Petach! Death to Jempak! Kapa!
battle is all but won. Fight on for the Empire! Come here. There are things we need to discuss. So much for diplomacy. I had a feeling that Jaula would attack. I admit surprise at the number of allies he had at his side, however. Jimpok will demand swift retribution on Jaula and any house that stood with her today. I suspect my days of neutrality will be coming to an end soon. I am Captain Karsnar of the Imperial Battlecruiser Mupwich. It is good to see the face of an ally. We were ambushed by Mokai rebels. The filthy Bachtok did not grant us a warrior's death in battle. Instead, they left us adrift in space to die without honor. Ah, but now you are here. Assist us with repairs, that we might hunt those treacherous curs together, and send them howling to Grethor! Good. My crew yearns for glorious combat. Soon, there will be great deeds worthy of song. We will fight, and if we die, it will... And we will drink together in Stormacar! Kapla! Jimpak will put these Mokai rebels down like the rabid targs they are. The great houses have joined forces with the Mokai. They dishonor their ancestors with this treachery! Bah! They are traitors without honor, and will pay for their treachery with their lives! Quickly, there are other disabled ships. We must bring them back into the fight before the rebels return! Join them in honorless death. 
House, as they say, is about to burn. And we all know who fights in a burning house. Don't be a fool. Hear me now. This doesn't have to end with your death. I speak to you now, warrior to warrior, Klingon to Klingon. We both know Jim Pock is weak and without honor. Fighting for him brings dishonor to your house and your ancestors. I offer you an honorable a path that leads to the Empire's return to glory! Will you join me? As you wish. You've made your choice. Now face the consequences. Fight well, and die with honor. Alliance forces. There is more work to be done. Kajnar, you are to travel to the nearest starbase for repairs. I need your ship at full strength. You are needed in another system to deal with the rebels. Transmitting coordinates on a secure channel now.
Those Starfleet ships won't last much longer against that Mokai force. Let's join the fight before it's too late. Enterprise, this is the day of base. Get clear! Let's fire to disable those Starfleet ships. I want to get to the bottom of this. heard from the captains of those Starfleet ships that attacked us. It's not good news. It appears the Mokai infected their computer cores with a virus. To their systems, friends became foes. Let's help them clear the virus from their systems and get them back into the fight. I have a feeling we're gonna need all the help we can get here. This is Commander Sunul on Sadea Base. We're still clearing the virus from our core systems. We have partial control and should restore full ops soon. Our long-range sensors are picking up numerous signals at high warp, House Mokai and Starfleet. That's not the half of it. Those ships are all coming in on the same approach vector. I'd say it's a fair bet those Starfleet ships are under Mokai control. Stay sharp out there. This could be another rough fight. Here they come, and they're locked and loaded. Those aren't Mokai ships. Those are rebels from other Klingon houses. virus controlled ships. Let's hope we can get the computers on those ships clear before more enemies come in for the kill. still trying to get rid of this damn virus. But we have control of most systems, including long-range sensors. 
We're reading a lot of incoming signals. All Klingon this time. I doubt it. There's a lot of Mokai warp signatures in the mix. If I were to guess, I'd say all of those ships are hostile. Here come the Mokai! must have used a virus to remotely trigger a warp core breach. The damage was catastrophic. Looks like a few escape pods were able to eject before the explosion. We'll take care of them. <sighs> There's more. Alliance Command sent orders our way. There's trouble in a Romulan star system. Mokai trouble. They asked for all of us to look into it, but under the circumstances, I think it's best for Enterprise to remain here with the survivors. And the other ships. Yes, until we can make absolutely sure their computers are virus-free, I don't want to risk taking those ships into battle. Each one of them could be rigged to blow, or worse. Go on ahead. We'll catch up as soon as we're able. This has been a disturbing day, friend. 
First, a vessel older than my grandsire warps in, fires some sort of mystery weapon and warps out. Then, some sort of rift opens up and spews out an Alachi battle fleet, all before breakfast. What is going on here? Is this a new Iconian attack? Why would a Klingon rebel care about a Republic outpost? And how are the Alachi involved? Very well. It sounds like you have experience with this sort of thing. Do what you need to do. I've got my hands full keeping this base from blowing to bits. Watch out! The lot are coming out of the rift! Target those Alachi and fire! Something's wrong. The rift isn't closing. Ilachi warships on intercept course. They're coming from the rift. Ilachi ships on approach. Get ready to fight. Hold your fire, my friend. The crew of the Liberator is here to help. We came as soon as we could. Ula is creating stronger rifts with her weapon. They are potent and extremely volatile. Your rift closing methods will not work. Fortunately, we Ilachi have more expertise with such problems. Agreed. The process requires a considerable level of energy. My ship will be vulnerable to attack while we close the rift. Protect us while we work, and we'll do the rest. Hostile Alachi fleet on sensors. Here they come! <laughs> Delivery. 
Operator, initiating rift closure process now. Summon launching vessels remain. They must be dealt with. Rift is closed. Well done, everyone. Captain Tarsef, the Republic owes you its sincere thanks. My compliments to you and your crew. Many among us were once Romulan, Commander Jurok. We are proud to be of service to the Republic. There are more of these rifts in several systems. We will do what we can to close them. I'm afraid Ja'ula isn't finished with us. I'm receiving a Priority One signal from the Kuvat system. Klingon revolutionaries are attacking a civilian shipyard. Transmitting the coordinates now. We'll join you there as soon as we've stabilized the situation on base station R-88. Another warrior arrives to heed the call to battle. Kaban! Ja'ula and her boot-licking Targspawn have a fleet near the orbital shipyard complex. It is likely they mean to raid it for anything they can steal, or blow it to pieces to deny its services to the Empire. <laughs> indeed. Enough of this ligament chewing. We are here, ready to fight. Come. Let us show them the price of their dishonor! People of Kufat, hear me now! I come to you now as a liberator, not a conqueror. I wish to free you from the tyranny of the false chancellor, Jemfak. Kufat is the birth world of my mother. Stand with me now, and we will find honor and glory together! Some of you may choose to meet me in battle. So be it. I will grant you an honorable death. A warrior's death. The choice is yours. If you're lucky, 
You might live to share the lessons with the other fools in your pathetic house. Barbarian shows her true colors at last. I will not rest until she pays for this cowardly attack. I swear it! But now is not the time for revenge. Now I must help the people of Kuvat. Be ready. When we find her, the Empire will need the best to take Jaula down. Will you answer the call? This is a dark day. The poisonous words of Ja'ula have spread like wildfire throughout the Empire. 
Many warriors have dishonored their house and sworn allegiance to her. It is the first day of a Klingon civil war. It will not last for long. I will make every Klingon see Ja'ula for what she truly is. They will turn their backs on the so-called Liberator and her treacherous house. Soon I will place her skull in the Great Hall as a reminder to all. Betray the Empire! Betray me! And you will pay the ultimate price! A traitor's death! Eternity in the halls of Grethor! Forever damned! Forever without honor! Serve the Empire well. 